close. So close. Hello, welcome back to the channel. I am the Disc Golf Nerd, and today we're going to review the Angler by Wild Discs. Happy to try out another new company and represent another new company in the playlist and on the channel here. Before we get too far into the video, I want to give a quick shout out to a gentleman named Micah from Tristar DG on Instagram. He is a viewer. He actually reached out to me um, via the comments on a previous mail call video, asked me if I'd be interested in trying out some Wild Discs plastic. He is a member of the team. Thank you to him and also to Wild Discs for sending me stuff. I believe he sent me a box and then they've sent me stuff directly from uh, their headquarters as well. So thank you very much to Wild Discs for sending over some stuff to try out. I tried out the Sea Otter, really nice straight flying putter, flat top, kind of shallow, feeling the hand. Flies very nice, I enjoyed that one. I have a bunch of footage on this thing, so I'll probably do a full review on that eventually. And I also tested out the Adax Reborn. Have some footage on this guy for you as well eventually. Oh, you can see me on there, oh God, run. 5501 were the flight numbers on this guy. I found it to be a bit more stable than those represented, but this is a nice throwable mid-range and held a really nice line. Very torque resistant, something that I could put a lot of power onto without it getting squirrely at all. Um, so there's a couple other molds from them that I got a chance to test, but I like the Angler a lot, and I decided to uh, go ahead and review this one first. Don't have a ton of flight footage on this thing, but you're going to get the idea pretty quick. Wild Discs, there's a logo. I like the stamp on this thing. Angler Fish is cool. I am an angler, you know, going back to being a kid and, and fishing a lot growing up and as a teenager and stuff. I actually just got back into trying some fishing this year for the first time in a few years as well. And even though I'm like the world's worst fisherman so far <laughs> this year, I still, I've always been really fascinated by fish. I enjoy fishing. I like being on the water. So I dig the, uh, I dig the stamp and the naming scheme on this. Also, Wild Discs uh, donates a percentage of their sales to wildlife conservation organizations. You can find more information about that on their website, but I think that's a cool concept. The flight numbers on this thing 4303 they're the same numbers as the zone i don't think that's a coincidence i don't think they're necessarily that accurate for this disc although it does kind of tell the story you know it's not very fast it has a lot of fade no natural turn at all i'd probably go 5304 maybe it's quite beefy it's definitely a very overstable disc you know if a justice is a, is a uh a fade of four i would probably uh, go ahead and give this the same because you can probably tell already that it's a very similar design to the Justice. It's got that big bead. It's got the rounded up outside edge there. This one does have a slight dome to it that we're going to touch on in just a bit. If you look at the bottom, you can maybe see where it says Angler PJ approved. The weight on this guy is 174 and there's your Wild Discs um, kind of logo. We alluded to it already. But it looks very similar to the Justice, so let's get right into the side-by-sides here. And we're going to take a look at a straight-up Lucid Justice. This is an older run that had a really nice flat top. Some of the newer ones have this more, like, slight dome top to them, like the Angler. But what's interesting about the Angler having this slight dome is it's still every bit as overstable as this Justice and other ones that I have in my inventory. But with that little bit of dome to it, I can actually power into it on a backhand and it will actually fly pretty far. I threw this thing about as far as I've ever thrown a really beefy mid-range like this out in the field, putting some uh, Anheuser and a lot of pop on it. Obviously, you can handle all the torque you want to put on it. So, you know, people might go, okay, well, it's, you know, it's kind of a copy of the Justice. Well, and today, around the world, disc golf is in the air. Welcome to Disc Golf, because hey, let's take a look at two other ones that I have in the inventory as well. Here's the, the uh, Legacy Recluse, and if we put this guy up to it, you can basically see it's got the flat top, it's got the same kind of bead, same kind of design, or stable mid-range. Recluse may be a little bit shallower. Nope, they're basically the same. I would say the, the rim width on the uh, angler bit more pronounced than this guy it doesn't jut out quite as far and then also just out of again just out of the discs i have in the inventory here is the lone star discs walker let's take a look at that guy next to it so also very similar mostly flat top this one's more thinner and more squared on that lead edge but it's got the big bead and very similar vibes so yeah of course 
a lot of discs are derivative out there on the market. doesn't mean they're a bad disc. And also, if you're a fan of the Justice, but you want to try some other companies, this would be a great disc for you to check out. And overstable discs like the Angler, uh, they're really functional, awesome discs to have in your bag that work really well. Um, the plastic feels great. It's got that kind of high quality premium plastic feel, kind of akin to like an opto lucid type plastic maybe, but nice grip, good feel to it. I like the sparkle, very clean molding, no kind of, no flashing, no hot spots, no sharp edges. Let's see if I'm, am I lying to you? Did I just not notice them? No, she's real clean. Very nicely molded disc and uh, really effective flyer. So we looked at the stamp and the flight numbers. We did side-by-side -side comparisons with similar discs like the Justice, the Walker, the Recluse. I'm sure there's others on the market as well. Nothing left to do but talk about the flight of this thing, and it's pretty obvious how this thing's going to fly. She's mean. She's a real mean, beefy, overstable mid-range. Very useful, very usable. I really liked it for forehand. Great skip shot disc. Throw it as hard as you want to. It's never turning over on you accidentally. It's never going to hold a turnover to the ground, really, either. It's almost certainly going to come out before it lands and... Uh, Maybe at most just kind of run out of energy and land flat before it gets time to fade out if you throw it low or something like that. But I liked the fact that I could stretch it out a little bit farther. I liked how reliable the skips were with it. And again, all in all, like I said, it's an overstable mid-range. Everybody should have a disc like this in their bag. It doesn't have to be a five-speed. It can be slower, like a harp. All these discs I've been reviewing and showing off here on the channel, they all function super well. I think the Angler is a step up in stability over most of them, and it's definitely a little bit uh, quicker than a lot of them as well. I definitely consider it much more of a mid-range than a slow, you know, slammer, pig-type disc. You can definitely get this thing out there. You know, I'm sure a guy like Ricky or somebody with a lot of power who comes over on Anheuser with their release kind of naturally could probably throw this thing pretty far uh, if you really laid into it. But again, at short range, kind of checked up. It's real mean, real beefy. Comes out of my forehand, kind of chop over forehands. Even if I put severe angle, it comes back and, and lands back to the right, as you can see. And uh, really solid disc that I enjoyed testing. So the Angler is one that I'm going to keep in my inventory and might be more likely to go into my bag than other overstable mid-ranges at this point. I just dig the stamp. I think it looks cool. I like the feel and the flight. And uh, it's cool to kind of represent some of the smaller companies out there. So that is my review on the Wild Discs Angler. Thank you once again to Micah from TriStar DG uh, on Instagram for reaching out to me and getting the ball rolling with this. And thank you to all of you guys for your continued support. I appreciate and love you all, and I'll talk to you very soon. Cheers.